We are back. Map 2, Ron Zoiland. Rainbow Shadow versus Cup of True. We've got a Rainbow Shadow 1-0 one le uh, lead to Rainbow Shadow. We're over on Zoiland. A map where everything can change in a very short amount of time due to being able to be knocked off into the edge of space and it doesn't matter how much health you've got the edge of space is going to take you out this map as opposed to quark which had two smaller armors this map has two mega armors 100 armor and you can overstack them up to 200 just like the mega health but of course that is made up for specifically by the ability to fall off the edge both players able to pick up one mega health, uh, mega armor, sorry, and Rainbow Shadow able to pick up the mega health. So we'll see how long that fight lo lasts for. Got a while left until either of the items are going to be popping up. But Rainbow Shadow's ready for it, just waiting on the item. Oh, and a beautiful curved rocket around the top up there. Absolutely incredible. It's beautiful to see what people can do with the curved rockets on this map because there are a lot of wide angles and straight lines that if you can get a rocket around a 90 degree corner and down the straight, you got a decent chance of hitting something. And I'm sure that someone at some time has practiced... Oh, if they're waiting on this spot, which they probably are, <laughs> I can detonate a rocket like by counting. Just being like beep, 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 beep. There have been stranger things. There's people who play with metronomes out of the park. There's people who play quite through with metronomes, <laughs> like for for timing. So, you know. Stranger things have happened. Cup of True on very low health picks up the Mega. Going to be on even lower health after a few shots. And Rainbow Shadow is going to be there to take uh, Mega Armor and get quite a good stack. Starting to really, really pile on the pressure now. Cup of True just can't seem to pick up anything. Getting a Mega Health would really be helpful for Cup of True, I think, at this point. Because health on this map, I would say, is more important than armor. Um, the the armor that can be picked up around the map is, you know, there's so much armor. <sighs> Again, out of this straight out, the vortex has a lot of knockback in this game, and there we are, proving it exactly. Slightly off the ground, vortex hit, boom. You are out of the park. We're going to swap over because the game won't do it for us automatically since that was a technically an environmental kill. But this might be Cup of True's way back into the game. Finds a second. Nearly falls off the edge going for that rocket launcher. Really wants it because it's such a powerful weapon on this mount with the ability to curve it around corners. But it is good. How? How on earth does he manage to survive that? On 14 health. Which is nothing compared to a couple of shotgun pellets is just proved by 20 health disappearing immediately. How has he managed to survive and get the kill on a full health rainbow shadow? And how has rainbow not gone down? How neither of them gone down in that scuffle? Both of them going to around 3 health there. How much damage has each player done? We're on 1.3k for Cup of True and 1.9 for rainbow shadow. Damage dealt. Um... Towards the end of this match, that could be slightly thrown off due to uh, out-of-the-park damage. Ah, no. No, Cup of True just completely forgets to click the button, falling off the edge of the map due to not clicking the blaster. Put a beautiful rail on. A, that is a very fast-moving Rainbow Shadow going up those stairs. He's not going for it, is it? No, never mind. You can get a tuber on the regular version of this map. Uh, the version that's on these servers, you can't get. But it would have been quite funny to see him <laughs> stand there and some chat lines come up trying to get the uh, trying to get the tuber. 
you want to, if you go onto the map Zoilent by opening the console, typing in map Zoilent, X O Y L E N T, and then you can exec to. to hmm. Should be tuba.config. Sorry about not commentating this, but I'm sure that there was... Huh. Don't know where it's gone. I'm sure there was a tuba config that you could exact. Uh, if you look up Xenotic, Tuba, Zoilent, there should be a forums post somewhere. And it'll give you the commands to be able to get the tuba on this map. The big fucking tuba. It's a slightly more entertaining way to get the tuba than just, like, give all weapons <laughs> in cheat mode. And, yeah. But the tuba, not on this map. Cover true 4, Rainbow Shadow 10. Self frag from Cover true detonating that rocket too close to himself. Rainbow managing to keep control over here. We are going to move over. I think I forgot to press that button. Uh, which will be why we weren't following the killer. So, sorry about that. Cover true managing to make the frag, but then Rainbow Shadow getting it straight back with the rocket that was in midair as Cover true shot with the shotgun. Shotgun hit, killed Rainbow Shadow, rocket landed, and killed Cover true. Beautiful little uh, little dash back across, making sure that he got that that uh, mega armor. Cup of true going to be not quite thrown out of the park here by Rainbow Shadow, but now there's a little bit of just racking up frags coming on. Rainbow Shadow in between items here. Uh, you know, racking up a fair lead on the frag board, using the Electro to great advantage to just put it into places that uh, Cup of True might be. It can do some incredible damage in tight spaces, or if you place it in the right, uh, those mines in the right place. And Rainbow obviously knows this, and that's why he's not using it right now. He knows that he's not in the right position to use it. You're not going to hit jack shit with it. There was a chance that was kind of stopping Cupertru getting out of there. But damn, Cupertru managed to take out Rainbow Shadow. I'm not sure if Rainbow Shadow really gave a shit about that fight, to be honest. <laughs> The lead that he's got, but there we are. Knock you out of the park. As I said, the thing with uh, this map and being knocked off is in Xenotic you're always bunny hopping. You're always in the air. You hit the ground for like a frame, maybe two frames. And that means that you're always in the air, effectively. And if you're in the air and you get hit by a heavy knockback weapon like most of the weapons in this game, except potentially the Crylink, which is anti-knockback. It actually pulls your opponent towards you, so use it in a situation where your opponent is running away and you don't want them to. Don't use it in, opponent w in a situation where you're running away. You'll be pulling your opponent towards you. But, um, yeah, you get quite high knockback while you're in the air. So, you might go flying off the map at random intervals. You can see just how far, like, you get pushed back. Coming from right up on that ledge to right the way back and because of the way that the next works that's going to hit you at distance and it's just going to do exactly the same thing at distance as it is right close up. Like you can see the knockback that was just happening to Rainbow and he was on the ground both times there. If he wasn't on the ground one of those would have knocked him off. This scoreline has gone incredibly one way. I think Cupertru is probably just like mentally clearing right now. Uh, but so is Rainbow Shadow. This is the thing. When you're in this position, sometimes you just... You don't want to end the game. You don't want to forfeit the game. So you want to uh, 
you just kind of rush in and plus forward and just take your shots and it's like whatever, who cares. And if you get a kill you feel good about it. And if you go down you're like, ah oh, I didn't have any stack anyway, I'd already lost the match, who cares, whatever, it doesn't matter. But um, Rainbow Shadow is also going to be able to do that. Uh, just by running around, picking up the items, just gently picking everything up and going through. But anyway, there we go. That is it. Um, Rainbow Shadow picking up the uh, Zoilant. And that's 2-0 uh, to Rainbow Shadow. First to four. So could be halfway there. Hopefully Cup of True switched to mobile internet. Give some less hiccups. Didn't see much, but if he's feeling it, he'd want to be moving around. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next dual commentary. We are going to Blood... Oh no, we're going to Mint. Why are we on Blood Covenant? I guess we just didn't vote. Cool. See you in the next one.